one function divided by the other function. If you guys remember, if you have your notation written down, this just means g of x divided by f of x. This is number 12. So it is. All you got to do is take one function and put it over the other function. So we know what g of x is, which is square root of x minus 1, and f of x is 2x. Right? Now, can we simplify this? The other problem, we can multiply. We could use a distributive property. And yeah, you could distribute through on this, but we typically say this is like a simplified version of this. We don't really say, say this is good. But I can't divide the 2x into the square root of x, can I? Can't really divide the 2x into negative 1. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Now we want to look at our domain. And now our domain, we have two restrictions, right? Our two restrictions is we say 1 over x, x cannot equal 0. And when you have the square root of x, x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Right? Those are your two restrictions. Do we have a variable in the denominator? Yes. So guess what? We take our denominator to find the domain. We take our denominator, and we set it equal to 0, and we solve. So therefore, we could say that we know x cannot equal 0, correct? Because if x equals 0 in this problem, you can take the square root of 0. That's 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0. You cannot have 0 in the denominator. So x cannot equal 0. Is everybody OK with that? x cannot equal 0. Now let's do this one. So what is my, what is my radicand? What is under my radical? Just x, right? So x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Well, I don't even actually have to solve that. It's already given to me. It's just x. If it was like x plus 1, it would probably be a little bit better to work with. However, so now we have two constraints. x has to be greater than or equal to 0, and x cannot equal 0. Well, so therefore, if x can't equal 0, can it be greater than or equal to? No. So now your domain is just going to be x is greater than 0. You can't do the greater than or equal to because x is also in your denominator. So therefore, x cannot equal 0. Great question. Yes. 